Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you this General Electric 75 watt incandescent floodlight bulb. Now, unlike my other floodlight bulb I just uh, showed two videos ago, this one is made in the USA and it is only 75 watts. Here's a quick look at the sleeve that this bulb came in. It's made by General Electric USA. Burn only in porcelain sockets, so that means this thing must get hot. Here's a picture of the reflector lamp on the side. And it's repeated, of course, on all four sides. Now, something different about this bulb is it has a ring on the bottom. Here says General Electric Company, Cleveland, Ohio. I guess where this bulb was made in. So let's pull this off. And here's the etch on top. Now this bulb is very, very dirty, but I'm not going to clean it off since I like character to old bulbs. So on the top here, it says the reflector, 75 watt, and it's an old etch. It's quite neat. I actually got two of these from the same restore as um, my two of my other bulbs as well. So it was all from the same person. Anyway, something I actually found unique is when I took one out of the package, I found this shipment label. Now, it's very nice. I even got it laminated to keep up on my um, board where I keep some streetlight ads or some stuff out of old streetlights, just like papers. So on here, you can see um, a model number. A, uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's another model number. See, 75R30 slash FL, 24 packs. So the person that bought this must have got 24 of these things. You have a barcode on the bottom, 75 watts, flood, and 120 volts. Quantity lamps, 24. And it has the General Electric logo on it. So anyway, without any excess say, let's put it in this um, fixture. Turn the light off and turn this on. Here we go. So... I would almost compare this to the um, 100 watt bulb. It's very similar in brightness. You can see down here, it is not a very warm white, but it's um, providing a lot of light. If I just shine it at these boxes here, you can see maybe it's slightly darker than the um, 100 watt one, but otherwise it lights up the area pretty nicely. So uh, here's a better look at the etch on top. And as you can see, it is a horizontal filament or a vertical filament depending on how you look at it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of my 75 watt incandescent floodlight bulb made by General Electric. Thanks for watching.